So we've got the Swift Challenger 580 SE. Um, 1516 kilograms absolute maximum and just over 24 feet from very very front to very very back got a motor mover fitted we've got an external barbecue point i believe storage underneath of our front seating and then we've got an external 230 volt socket and then we've got a little locker at the back there that goes underneath of our bed so we've got the island bed in this one We've got the ATC, room for two gas bottles in the front and we're on 13 pin electrics and we've got the Alco hitch head on there. Now we've got the Aldi central heating. We've got the external shower point so you can have an external shower on this one. And then our normal water, that's where we plug to supply our taps, etc. Room for a leisure battery, roughly 110 amp. Uh, mains hook up and then a motor mover switch just there so that turns power onto the motor mover and then at the very back is where we've got our cassette toilet and then all of our wastewater on this one are going to come out of the two grey outlets just here should we have a look inside and see what this one's like so inside of the swift challenger se 58 we've got a nice little seating area at the front and um, just about big enough to lie out and maybe use a single bed for smaller children. The little front chest of drawer pulls out, um, so that gives us extra room. We've got 230 volt socket, we've got USB sockets and an even another 230 volt socket over there as well. Nice amounts of storage with our drawers at the front. Our cupboards at the side, and we've got the CD radio. Um, it's got a solar panel fitted in this one as well, and it's also got the Aldi smart controller, so um, you can get all the app, etc., for that and control it pretty much from anywhere. Um, underneath this side is our little controller, and again, you can set the solar panel up with the with the Bluetooth on your phone, and then the little Bluetooth device is there so that can all be connected up and there's information in the pack of books of how to do that we've got the three-way fridge we've got the microwave we've got the electric ring on the hob and then we've got our grill and our oven below nice amount of storage so you could put a tv here and we've got aerial points yeah what else have we got there i think we've got hdmi, HDMI so so if you wanted to put um, a box in for HDMI cable, you can connect down here, have the actual box, sky box or DVD player into the cupboard and then just connect out of here onto your TV. So nice amounts of space there for that. We've got space for another TV in the bedroom. And again, we've got two 30 volt sockets, aerial point for the TV and a 12 volt point as well. Nice big wardrobes over the bed, so can have a fight over who gets the slightly bigger one. And then we've got plenty of storage underneath of this fixed bed as well. Our spare wheel is underneath of the bed. And then at the rear, we've got our nice big separate shower and toilet, which again, you can just about use that as a, as a changing room. been well looked after again it's not been knocked around at all this and um, it has been kept in really really nice clean tidy condition just um, on our website now so if you need any other information just let us know but a nice really nice clean tidy van for a 2014 it's been well looked after and so if you need any other information let us know thanks i'm mark at the caravan place